Hey YouTube, Shukwin Shinobi here with my very first SIC review, this time of Kiwami Tamashi, Kamen Rider Zonki, the slashing demon himself, otherwise named after Italian symbols. Um, I really like the packaging for the S the, for the uh, Kiwami Tamashi SICs. I, I like the packaging for the big SICs too. Uh, I just, I don't really dig the SIC aesthetic that much, but it really works for the Onis and, uh, and Zonki... Zonky Heart, so I felt the need to get this because Zonky Heart. Uh, anywho, um, Master Rider Zonky down here with the kanji, more kanji, kanji everywhere, kanji up here, kanji there, kanji, 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 kanji. I hate kanji. Uh, anyway, uh, back here we've got Zonky rocking out on the Retsudan, uh, Zonky and Todoroki. Jabbing people, the different forms of the uh, Retsuzan, and then Zonki himself. So, uh, let's do this. Uh, to open up this guy, pop, pop it off up here, and then pop it up there, and slide. I took everything out originally. Let's just kind of slide everything out, put that back where it goes. Um, instructions are in here, but who needs those really? Um, yeah, this thing was Twist Tie Heaven, uh, Satan of Toys. So there was, like, one here, one on each arm, one on each leg, one each here, tape here. So I, uh, removed everything for easy sake. Um, so here we have Zonky. If I can get him out. Um, these guys are, are really small. Um, let me bring the camera down if I can get him to stand up. Bring the camera down a bit. Uh, so here's here's Fang Joker in comparison. So uh, so these guys are really small, but keep in mind they're only twelve hundred yen, so they're only like about twelve bucks. And for the amount of accessories and detail you get in these guys for twelve dollars, it's really really good, considering the figure arts are about thirty. I mean, so he's got a joint here. Uh, this can turn, so you can get a better uh, better joint going on right there. Um, so just kind of turn that around. It's really easy to maneuver, so it's not like the, uh, he's, he does have some arm articulation problems, mostly because that joint's really tight and the shoulder pad gets in the way, but, uh, he does have some, some arm articulation and it can go all the way around if you force it. And basically standard figure are joint legs. You've got a ball joint right here attached to the little leg piece knee movement leg um they can't bend kind of like that way as much as uh figure arts can but um they still can and with that amount of articulation and something so cheap and small i can totally dig it um head is on a ball joint and the details are just really good um i'll have to take i well rather i have taken taken pictures there we go um to show off the detail but like since my camera doesn't have focus um, i am trying to get a better camera i just don't know when that's going to be because i'm in debt i'm poor so uh really nice design right here with the uh with the chest and the strings color is dead on accurate um in fact in the, the tone of the teal color even changes throughout the body base so it is very reminiscent of the uh Whatever it was that they used on the, the suits in uh, in Hibiki. Um, I forgot what it was called. If anyone wants to mention it, go ahead. Um, it was in the uh, Decayed Net movie files. I just don't remember what it was called. And the uh, his henshin brace right here. Very, very nice. Uh, his disc animals are right here. They plug in right back here. Just kind of let them hang off the back. Um, to improve some articulation here. So those are included. Very nice. I can see the frog. I'm pretty sure that's the frog. It's a frog or a snake. Yeah, it's a frog. Um, actually, what, what's the other one? I'm curious. Um, I think it's the crab. 
The only reason I think it's a crab is because I see a lot of pieces. So whatever. Um, I'm sure one of those is the uh, the the gold wolf, only because that was like Zonky's thing. Um, but considering this is just a repaint of Todoroki, um, those could coincide more with Todoroki than Zonky. So anyway, let's go ahead and pop his uh, arms off. To do that, you just pop his arms off, his hands off. It's just a peg system. I kind of wish figure arts were like this, but then you lose wrist articulation. So uh, let's go ahead and not that one. Put in this one eventually for his uh, red Suzanne. And then this one, you can change to this one. This one is a hand to hold the Retsuzan in spear mode, whatever you want to call it, axe, pokey mode. So you can get them all cool looking like like that. Um, he holds it fairly well if you position it like this. If you try to position it any other way, he kind of drops it. But that's the way you would hold it anyway, so I don't see why you would do it any other way. And now he's all falling all over the place. There we go. So you can do that, or you can pop that off and switch to. Where is it? It's still in the package. Uh, this hand, which kind of looks like a thumbs up hand, but it's not. Trust me. Um, so kind of get this positioned correctly. Uh, the only downside is that the, uh, the Zontets isn't removable so uh, it kinda creates a paradox but uh, that's okay no one's no one's really paying attention so get that in his hand kinda like that and then press that up against his body of course I did this fine when I was taking photos can I do it fine when I'm taking uh, the review? No. So, just kind of spread his legs out a little bit, get him to stand, and there we go, Zonky rocking out. His hands are down a little bit lower than it needs to be, but that's okay. So, um, get back there, Zonky. So, I mean, all this for, for $12, give or take, is really, really nice. You get a small, um, it's probably about the 4-inch size, kind of like the new MMPR figures, um, very, very detailed figure. Um, two weapons, three changes of hands, uh, and the dull disc animal accessory thing. Um, all for a very cheap price. I can easily recommend the Kiwami Tamashii figures. Uh, granted, the bigger SICs are very expensive. Um, so those take a little bit more passion. But if you wanted to collect the, the Kiwami Tamashis, it's not that big of a investment. And they're just all around really detailed and really cool. Um, Doss Reminder has a ton of Kiwami Tamashi reviews up on his channel. So um, if you want to see more, go ahead and check out uh, his videos or search it on YouTube. Um, I'm sure there's a few others as well. Um, I might be getting the other Oni, uh, which is just Hibiki and Todoroki. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a, either a Hibiki Kunai or Armed Hibiki. I don't remember which one. Uh, exclusive somewhere or something, but I don't know. I'm not really too concerned about it. I might get the other Oni because I'm a huge Hibiki fan, and these are really cool figures. But uh, so if I do expect reviews, if I don't, obviously don't. So I'm um, easily recommended. Uh, check out our photo gallery at flickercom slash photo slash me And of course, check out the blog at shukenshomi.wordpress.com for all the latest news, updates, and release dates. And check out our Tokusatsu podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, featuring myself, Dawson Rider, and Jedimon at shukenshomi.podbean.com. That address will change soon. Um, so take care, and have a great one. Bye.